Wow! Me too, bro. Me too. <laughs> so currently, in my humble opinion, the most fun you can have in sim racing is driving a sub 130 horsepower 80s box. Yeah. And you can trust my opinion because I'm the world's best driver. Seriously, I've been around sim racing for a very, very long time now, and I've driven everything, everywhere, multiple times. In fact, I'd go as far as saying it's getting a little bit stale. So you have to find more interesting and more fun things to do with your spare time. And recently, I've been back on the toe game. Yeah, the toe game. So I've made videos on this before, which you can see here on screen and check out down below in the description. But basically in the set of Corsa, there are whole communities dedicated to this form of racing. And I've gone one step further and made it my mission to try and learn the legendary Mount Akina. Now, if you're a wee trash like my editor, Joey, love you, Joey, Mount Akina is going to be fairly familiar to you. Yeah, it's the initial D road. And for me, there's only one car you can drive on this road whilst being faithful, of course, to the anime route, which is, of course, the Toyota AE86. Now, I love this car so much so that I did something very stupid recently in real life video on that coming up soon and i have made it my mission to get from the top of mount akina to the bottom as quick as possible in a bone stock 86 so we're talking yeah sub 180 horsepower we're talking very old school suspension 90s style tires which have zero grip uh, uh. full h pattern all that stuff it is an awesome driving experience and since i had the big cough recently i basically spent the last two weeks perfecting my run on the downhill and now you guys have to suffer too and watch me drive it some more <laughs> so here it is our stock a86 in all its glory and i'm going to take you down the course here it's about a five minute run it's fairly intense it's fairly full on but i'm going to try and guide you through it and see if we can find some fun along the way first things first tire pressures up 35 psi is about where i like it it feels a bit counterintuitive but on these old tires they seem to like it so we're going to do that and we're going to take our fuel down to 10 liters because because we're tryhards as well oh hello there a little mx5 behind us i'd love to race against that apparently not friendo hello yeah now we're talking so our first little battle then Stock 86 versus GE86. And already, as you can see by the advantage meter at the top, it is gapping me. Big time. Anyway, down towards the first corner. So third gear here. We can use this little bit of uh, gutter on the inside there. Try and gain a bit of time back. And the thing with these old style tyres is all about momentum. So you're going to see a lot of this sort of four wheel slide into the corners and then trying to get a little bit of a flick going from here but not too much you want to spend as little time as possible sideways basically all about trying to keep the momentum going and carrying it as much as possible and we've got such a little horsepower you have to make sure that we are maximizing everything possible there for example just using the the downshift to start rotating the car this is where i struggle with coming out of corners i can carry speed well through here but oh my advantage meter's given up ah bit wide there really easy to do wait for me bro okay. they're just back in the car and they're going, oh he's round i count that as a win <laughs> it's a win joey shut up no anyway we'll continue what we're doing see they're using that first gear to turn the car and then rotating around on that and almost catching the slide on the throttle to push the car out nicely so Gonna be flat through here we're almost gonna hit 100 mile an hour which is 160 kph almost not quite i oh, know we did hit it there nice uh, it's very, very awkward left-handed. I've got a bit, a bit wide there. Using again the shift lock to bring us back. Dipping into the uh, the gutter to help turn the car. Bit of a lift into this bit here. And again, we're going to sacrifice the entrance here and just try and get the wheel in the gutter there because you can carry so much more exit speed there. You don't really get to use it too much. Just straight into this hairpin. Again, using the, the big kick from going down into first gear to start that rotation in the back of the car. Driving on these old tyres feels like such an R. It's... You're by far the slowest car on the server on these tyres. I mean, if you do under a 530 on these tyres, you're doing a good job. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> I survived. Don't lock up too much. There you go. Going underneath 530 on these tyres is a really 
good achievement. And most cars on this server are quite easily in the low five minute range. So you're, you're a good 20 seconds or so slow than anything else out there. But that's all the fun of it. Because if you see someone coming up behind you, you know they're going to catch you. And it's up to you trying to facilitate that as quick as possible. The downhill. Very nice set. It might feel like it's a bit counterintuitive to sort of get the car sliding a bit, but you kind of have to. These old tyres are made of plastic, it feels like. Quite an initial D there. And you can see when I do start sliding, I'm trying to straighten up as quick as possible and as softly as possible, trying to avoid the, the rear wheels just spinning freely without any sort of forward momentum. We're not too far away from the end of the course now, so it's about just trying to maximise these last few corners. Easy through here. So as soon as we can get through there, watch out for this curb on the left, it can launch you. Again, we can use this gutter here to our advantage. Just missing out on it there, actually. The gap you have to use it is very, very small. If you mess it up, then you end up just losing a ton of time. Oh, almost in the wall there. Then the cones at the end. And our time... A 5.22.5. I just PB'd on camera. Yes, boys. But anyway, that's what it's like on the older tyres, which, as you can see, very slidey, not much grip at all, but a ton of fun to drive on. What I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to pop onto the modern street tyres, which are about 12 seconds faster down the run, and see if I can keep up with any of these crazy cars in front of the Supra, RX-7's got Skylines here. We're going to see if our little 86 can uh, keep up with this guy. Skyline gang behind me. All right, OK. A stock 86 versus about 50 Skylines. You can see this. B difference in the straight line there as we uh, mess up T1 a bit. Yeah, a little kiss is okay. Just a little kiss. They've got much better brakes, much better traction. Oh, that fight in the background though. ND's gone off. <laughs> this is carnage. So cool. Look at this. RX7 in front, R34 behind. The cutest box in the world in the middle. Uh uh. uh. Too quick into there. A bit more sideways than I wanted to be. Ah, oh, Skyline's very close through there. I was getting a bit nervous. Go, 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 run! He's looking for the way by. I don't want to give it to him. He's staying there. Oh, come on, turn in. Yes, boy. Oh, brilliant. Made a mistake through there. Come on, little A6. Really trying to concentrate now because it seems that through here we actually have a bit of an advantage. This next section that we're definitely going to get absolutely trounced. A big straight line. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, there it is. If that thing gets past, we're doomed pretty much. They're going to go for the move. He, he's looking all over the place. I'm pretty much sitting back in the middle of the line here. Well, that's far too quick. Oh, luckily we we're on the uh, modern tyres. Modern tyres there. If we were on the, on the old tyres there, we would not survive that. He's all over the back of me. There's nothing I can do about it either. Go, 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 go. Fast, 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 fast. No! Yes, it makes sense. Come on. You've been very respectful this R34 so far. Definitely could have had me a couple of times. Don't wheel spin in second gear, it's the worst. Ah, Jimmy. Getting a bit flustered now. He's going to have a go. Oh, I managed to keep him there. I don't know what happens. I have to look at the replay. <laughs> little 86. Ah, understeer! Go, 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 go! <laughs> Nothing a little guy could do. And there it goes. Oh, he's been a gentleman. He's waiting for us. <laughs> oh! 
had a fun little battle. I mean, the, the skyline could have had us at any time, I think. There are a couple of areas where I think we managed to gap them a little bit before getting absolutely trounced by a car far superior than this one. Driver's not bad either. Oh, uh. But look at this lap time. Got one more corner to go. We did a 5.22 on those uh, busted old 90s tyres. To the line! Nah! That was a 5.12, literally 10 seconds faster. That was so cool. I enjoyed that so much. I mean, let's be real. Skyline kicked my ass, but who cares? No one needs to know that. Here we are. This is going to be a great battle. The guy behind me is also in the Stock 86. We're both on 90s tyres. Let's see how we go. Levin versus Shurano. 86 versus 86 on old ass tyres. Car is slow in front as well, thank you very much. Do you the advantage thing there on the left? Let us know the gap to the car behind. Try my best to get the corners as quick as possible. This is where this car is the most tricky on this tyre. Nice little gap already, 40 metres. We've got a long, long way to go. I don't want to go full uh, Drift King, but we've got a bit of a gap, you know, so... You know, <laughs> that's sort of credited to the start of the of drifting, is uh, Dory Dory himself getting bored during mountain races. He's so far ahead that he just started drifting in front of his opponents for the crowd. <laughs> I feel like that's the ultimate BM, though. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I can't drift. <laughs> I'm just here so you know. Let him get a bit closer again, I think. Oh! Oh! <laughs> no! Oh, no! That's what happens when you try and show off. <laughs> you crash like a fucking moron. Anyway, he's now right there again. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, man. You don't need to have one billion horsepower and have a good time. Look how much fun this is. And you learn so much driving a car like this. You learn everything, especially on these tires. Sim racing is so just based around like GT freeze and this little tiny window of performance that you have to try and get the car into. These things, it's one million percent how you use the weight transfer of a car, how you feel things like oversteer and understeer, how you control them to move the car around. That was almost perfect through there. And it's these sort of these sort of skills for me that are much more applicable for real life driving. Now I, I've had the absolute honor to go into real cars and real racing over the last couple of years and you learn more from moving the car around than you do from that millimetrical perfect precision that you need for something like you know a downforce car it's just the ultimate teacher cars like this it's just it's just it's just the best it's why i've sat here for the last like week and a bit basically just driving this car right now i'm just messing about you know we're not going at full speed but you can see on my little tack there the the 410 that's how many miles I've done in this car. Or kilometers, I'm not sure which, but I've done a few, you know, just going up and down this mountain pass, just learning it, finding all the little bits, finding where I can put the car where I can't put it. And then really getting to know one car and one set of conditions. You know, getting to know what these tires are like, what happens when they go over the edge. I always liken it to playing it like playing football, with like a tiny football, like a training football. I thought we'd get better at learning how to control things. This car is the little tiny football of sim racing. Just great fun. I can't recommend this enough. And you know what? This is stock content. This, oh god, ignore that. This 86 is stock content. Anyone can drive this with the Japanese car back, I think. That was a quite a slow time, a 531 through there. Here comes our lad. I bet that was an experience. <laughs> I bet he didn't like that. A lot of people don't use the 90s tyres, so when they, do, they use them, they're like, what the hell? 
Oh, man. But yeah, guys, hopefully you can see just how awesome this is and what a breath of fresh air this kind of thing is for sim racing. It's awesome creativity and a ton of fun to be able to drive, uh, for me, all my favorite old school cars on a server in the way that they would be driven sideways and not very fast. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, of course, feel free to tap that like button, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you all next time. Oh, <laughs> my